Hi guys, and welcome back to Spooky Allows here. I've decided to come on and do a DIY do-it-yourself Halloween. Um, some things that I had watched, and I actually got the idea from one of these other YouTubers, so I will go ahead and link her name down below and give her the credit for the idea. Although I did add my, my own little special touch, but... It actually came from her video. So, with furthermore, let's get into it. So, I went to the Dollar Tree and I ended up getting some ideas from the previous uh, videos that I had watched. And don't mind me, I'm actually filming quickly from my bedroom. And I just decided to just use my trusty fan here for a tabletop. Um, we just moved into my room and so we haven't really got all the furniture items that we need. So, I'm going to go ahead and make do with what I have. And let's get started so what I did to create this is a candy jar it's actually a solar ghost candy jar so it will illuminate um, I went to the Dollar Tree and picked up this in the housewares department where they carry glasses and stuff not where they carry their candles this was actually where they carry their cups and plates and this and that so with that I bought this jar because I needed one with a sealed lid and I went and picked up these little orange and black ornaments and hot glued them on to the top and I used four all the way around. Then I went ahead and got a yard stake ghost, the solar ones, took the stick off and just hot glued him onto the top. This was so easy and quick to create and not only that it makes a very cute candy jar. I just bought a little bit of like the Harvest uh, candy corn mix, and I'm probably sure some of you are like, ugh, candy corn. Well, some still like it. I did try a piece, and my God, I was like, it burned my throat, and so I was like, that was too much sugar, and I left it there. <laughs> but anyway, I went ahead and got this, and it does light up, so I actually had it sitting in my window ledge for just a little bit. Want to make sure that it gets a good um, amount of light so that I'll be able to light it up for you here in just a moment and show you how it looks. This next project is, well, I was actually starting off with wanting to make the black flame candle from Hocus Pocus, being that it is one of my favorite movies. And I ended up buying a craft, uh, which I thought... I actually thought it was a craft marker in gold and I was going to actually write on there. I lit the black flame candle and it was a crayon and it was a total disaster. So that went out the window and I went ahead and just sticked with just making myself a really cute Halloween bow with some of the ribbon they had there and just hot glued that on very basic and that's all. Nothing more, nothing less and I'm just going to light that somewhere out in the area where we have our Halloween stuff but other than that it was a simple black candle from the Dollar Tree a spool of ribbon from the Dollar Tree and one of those glittery uh, pipe cleaners to seal that in and a quick squirt of hot glue and that's it and there you have your candle and last but not least I made this such a cute cute lantern ghost candle what do you think about it well let's get into what i use so anyway in the candle section at the dollar tree i ended up picking up this candle holder um it's a flat top handle candle holder it's actually a light blue so i just bought some black spray paint rolled it around a little to give it that roughy looking look and let it sit out in the sun for about an hour and it went ahead and dried pretty good then after that i picked up this this is actually in the candle holder of this jar here because if you flip it upside down this piece in the middle holds a votive but i went and got a led battery operated uh votive put that in the middle and i went ahead and i hot glued this jar onto here and you're probably thinking well why would you do that how are you going to change out the candle well folks i don't plan on changing it out i figured this will just burn until it's over and rover but um after that this will stay lit up and glowing 
So I just, I don't know, I had a thing with black and, and the ghosty thing today. So I wanted to do this. And it's very cute. Um, some of the idea was also from the other lady from her YouTube channel. But I got different things in it to implement what I wanted to do uh, for myself. So I went ahead and made two of these. And this um, actual holder is different than this one here. And I'll go ahead and bring out this one. So this is my second one. And this one also. This one was blue and white, I believe. And so I spray painted it black and left some of the blue coming through. And also did the same process. And like I said, these are really cute. They're going to look cute sitting on a shelf. Um, and somewhere where there's preferably light, of course, so that you can um, actually get it to light up. And so I'm going to try to turn off the lights in my room and see if these don't flicker. And I'll be right back with you. So without further ado, this is now glowing. Very cute on the candy jar. I probably don't have enough dark light in here. The sun's still peeking through. But this just gives you a general idea. I think this ghost has got a foul uh, malfunction in it. Um, it's not flickering like the other one is here, which you can see how cute is that, you guys. Wow. I just love this. This is so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. And so there he is with all his glowiness. And this one over here, um, he's not got enough, excuse me, enough um, sunlight yet to get him going. But he eventually will glow as well. But anyway, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'm no professional craft maker. I'm just a regular old mom here that likes to make things and have something to do with her time. So thank you again for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos to come. And thank you all so very much. And to those who have given me the inspiration, have a blessed day. Be safe and God bless.